What's up, everybody? I'm Dan Debeck. I'm the representative of Liberland to Serbia and also the founder of SafeX, the blockchain marketplace in cryptocurrency. You can follow me on twitter.com slash Dan Debeck, and I'm posting and updating things all the time over there. So if you want to stay up to date, all things related to me, Liberland and SafeX, check out Twitter. So without further ado, I'm going to dive into the presentation. Um, the current state of affairs with SafeX is that the marketplace protocol is complete and it's gone under rigorous testing the last four months or so. We have uh, more than a dozen people in a testing group and every time we iterate and update something, we're launching it over there and the release is imminent. Like this mark marketplace protocol is completed. What we have left is just to create a GUI so people can click and that they can um, go through uh, all the all the protocol buying, selling, and um, you know checking what's available on the on the marketplace off of the blockchain and the web API so that other developers can tap in and be able to use this system very easily themselves from their own perspective. And also we're interested in getting other people's opinions about our system and you can visit the GitHub page, contact me on Twitter directly and uh, tune in for the marketplace index, all the functions that, that the marketplace is, is, uh, has. So their account creation, price peg, listing an item for sale and purchasing that item. Once you've purchased an item, you're gonna leave feedback. And then of course, staking tokens and collecting revenue. The marketplace charges a 5% fee to um, whenever something is sold and that goes into a pool and the tokens get their percentage out of that. So let's dive in. So account creation, if you could see my, uh, my screen, you can see that it, uh, from the yellow part uh, and then it says SafeX account, new, Daybeck, and then a whole uh, kind of like object that's all this data. It has the avatar, so your picture, um, your Facebook, your Twitter, your biography, maybe your location. This is information that will be seen by other people on the marketplace when they're buying from you. And to do that, you would lock in a thousand tokens for a week at the time of registration. So you can use your account right away as soon as you registered, but your tokens will be locked away for a week until, uh, and that's a thousand of those tokens. So then moving forward, after I created it in my wallet, I then publish it to the blockchain. So a account creation is something that goes into the blockchain and you can, anybody in the world can query the database of people who are in the world marketplace. And those are pseudonyms, obviously, and the transaction goes into the blockchain. Then I could list my accounts. You could see Daybeck, the object, and that it's activated. Um, and that's a list of accounts from my wallet. And you can see here that account creation is a transaction type on the blockchain. So it means that um, making your account is literally something embedded into the fabric of the SafeX blockchain. So it's not some second layer or some arbitrary uh, piece of material introduced into this chain. And then I could also query the blockchain like I mentioned before. I put SafeX account info, you could see, and then Dayback, and then it gives me back the public key um, that's associated to this account. All actions are controlled through the key generated and stored at the address of the account. So if I want to make some update to this account data, for example, I would sign with the private portion and it would be verified by the blockchain using the public portion that's stored at the account. So then when you want to sell something, because cryptocurrencies are so volatile, and when you list an item for sale, let's say you wanted to sell something for a firm amount of Bitcoin, let's say, then uh, the price will change from day to day. You need to update your listing all the time to be current with the current exchange rate that you wanted. Let's say you wanted to sell something for $100. So then uh, to do that in a decentralized fashion, we present this price peg. So it's like an oracle. So you could see, again, the command SafeX price peg, create the username, the name of the price peg, the name of the currency being converted, how many per unit you want to convert and then a description and then you put that into the blockchain and so the price peg is essentially an oracle once it's stored in the blockchain anybody can append the price peg to their uh, offer and then uh, as the price peg gets updated the offer is updated on the blockchain so if the price of safex cash changed from one dollar to two dollars then the amount of SafeX cash demanded for a product that's connected to a adequate price peg would cut the SFX cost to the purchaser in half, and then you'd still have the same, um, you'd have the same price, 
in the dollar if you could peg it to the dollar but you could peg to anything euros yen pounds it doesn't matter so and price pegs are also an object of the blockchain you could see that the transaction gets published and stored directly into the blockchain and then i could list my price pegs and then now the good you know the best part of it all you can sell an item so i type in the command if you see here on my screen safex offer create the username i want to represent it the name of the product so one ounce of gold the minimum sfx price regardless of what the peg price peg would put this is like a safeguard the quantity that i have and a description you see 10 and and then the description one ounce of pure 99 and then it's asking me do you want to attach this offer to a price peg and i'm going to say yes now we get into the next screen where it lists the price pegs and if you look on my screen, I can enter the price in USD because I chose a price peg that we made just a few minutes ago. I chose that and then I entered the minimum SFX price. So if a price peg was to uh, malfunction, meaning someone's not updating it uh, properly or trying to be malicious, you can protect your listing from ever accepting anything less than a certain amount. And then if the price really changed like that and it reached your minimum you can go back and update it obviously um, nothing too stressful with, with that so then um, so then we submit that and like everything else the offers are also you could see an object one ounce gold the title and their native transaction type of the blockchain so then now this is like the best part is where you can list all the offers that are on the blockchain which I just did and you can see our one ounce gold that made it to the list, along with a scotch whiskey and a B12 vitamins. And uh, notably, considering the situation, you know, the globe is in panic about the N95 masks, you know, are heavily demanded item. Amazon has blocked, you know, the ability to, for people to obtain these products. And so, and most major retail platforms. So we need a marketplace that's uncensorable. Something that even though it's legal to sell a N95 mask, you just can't get it because platforms are with the flick of a button there shut you down so we need a global catalog of the world's goods accessible cheaply by any human being and safex champions that economic inclusion enabling people to obtain and trade resources at will so then we can go ahead and buy one of these n95 masks we paste in the uh, command safex purchase and then the offer id and then the quantity we want to buy we pay the money and and um and the merchant will get the money and then we'll settle our, our shipment. And uh, the money that's acceptable is a proof of work mineable cryptocurrency called Safex Cash. It was released in 2018 with an S curve emission system. So, um, and its use is to pay data fees and it's a native currency for purchases. Now, the reason why this is so much different than, let's say, Bitcoin and, and pretty much every other coin on the entire market is that. Um, the S-curve means that the block reward is increasing over time before decreasing. And that allows people to find out about the system and then to be able to get into mining with an increasing rate so that you're not, um, you know, most people are disadvantaged when you have, uh, you know, all the Bitcoins are already issued to the first miners, but people didn't find out about the system until years later. So uh, all of the resources are dumped only onto the initial um participants of the network in this case we let people over time still have a shot at the at the goal um, and we believe that that system will provide better financial inclusion and a more distributed um, quantity of, of currency to all the people so then you want to leave feed so after you bought your bought your crypto bought your product you um, you want to leave feedback and so feedback is also as soon as your purchase is completed, you'll get a feedback token and you use that token to leave a response upon the product, upon the person who sold it to you. And uh, you could leave a, a, a rating and a comment and you pay a data fee. So the more you want to comment, the more you're going to pay, but it's insignificant amount at that. And of course, feedback is a transaction type of the blockchain. So you can see the entire system is fully embedded in, in the blockchain. And then... Um, just going to talk really briefly about token staking. So the token, Savex token was issued in 2015. There's 1.88 billion of them circulating. They're used in account creation and they can be used to participate in a revenue pool. So whenever something gets sold, a 5% uh, 
uh, of that transaction gets put into a pool and distributed to all token holders who, who um, have staked their tokens. And so, um, yeah, we believe that that's a good system that will incentivize continuous development and proliferation of the, of the ecosystem of SafeX. And uh, here's just a quick demonstration of token staking and unlocking and collecting available interest, as it says there, 1,543 SafeX cash, and that would have came from purchases done there. So yeah, here's a flat snapshot of the GUI. So um, the graphical user interface, it's on its way. All the raw functionality you saw is, saw is already implemented, and now we're just putting it into a clickable environment that anyone can use. You can find more about it in SafeX.io, and of course you can follow me for real-time updates. Now into the uh, next phase of my presentation, which is related very mainly to Liberland, and that's with the uh, launch of a um, crypto exchange called Excalibur.com. Uh, we soft launched this in May 30th, 2019. We're trading Ethereum, Bitcoin, SafeX token, SafeX cash, and notably the Serbian dinar. So uh, Serbia and Liberland, very close and very friendly um, nations. So cryptocurrency being the cornerstone of our future, Serbia uh, is so close to our hearts. So we made sure that we supported Serbia in the cryptocurrency inclusion so Serbian citizens are now able to trade cryptocurrency directly for dinars on Excalibur.com. And um, you know, we, we believe that with our cryptocurrency realm trading on the Serbian dinar, that it's a symbiotic relationship and supporting this uh, trade and that supports the um, participation of Serbia into the crypto world. So we're really happy to have been able to do that. And uh, notably, just yesterday, uh, Excalibra um, uh, pairs, including Bitcoin versus the DINAR, were just now tracked on CoinMarketCap. So we're bringing massive um, attention to Serbia and it, it's really good to see things moving forward and, and progressing. So yeah, maybe very soon in the near future, the Liberland blockchain will be launched and we would look forward to listing the Liberland merit on Excalibra and kind of close the whole circle between Serbian relations and, and Liberlandian relations and finan global financial inclusion. So uh, thank you all for listening. Uh, it's been an epic journey and we have an epic one ahead of us. We've made sure that we're geared up as strongly as possible going in into the world and including Serbia in our crypto evolution. And um, and yeah, make plans, set them in motion, remain consistent, and know when you're on solid ground and move forward off of that. So yeah, thank you all for being here and uh, happy fifth anniversary to Liberland.